I was diagnosed with cancer in 2002. I was diagnosed with throat and uh, went down to my stomach. Simon Crowley operated on me. After the operation, um, he came in and told my wife and I that he got it all. After all this, I uh, put a proposition to him, asked him to go into a greyhound with me, and he asked me how much was it. And I told him 40 bucks a month. He said, I'm in. We got involved with this initial pup and we got invited to a wedding and the wedding happened to be a wedding of one of the owners and my wife was suspicious as wives often are why are we going to this wedding i made some lame excuse i think and the minute we arrived at the reception the first group of people i bumped into were the owners and immediately they embraced the conversation of the dogs looking great or she's fantastic and my wife grabbed me by my ear took me outside and said, what are you not telling me? And I said, oh, I forgot to tell you I'm involved with a greyhound. About six months later, whenever you have to register and name the dog, I was rung and told that they called the dog, who told Helen? And when we came to name the last litter of dogs, I was under a bit of pressure from Brian to cough up a name. And in the end, I thought, well, let's call it Simon Told Helen. And as you know, it's been a, a fantastic journey since then. And we've had the most wonderful dog who's Greyhound of the Year in Australasia. It's uh, been fantastic. Well, I was hoping we'd have a good dog and we got a good dog. And I'd hope he'd win some races for us. Well, he's won more than races for us. He's won us a lot. Simon told Helen the leader, the little brother and kittle mate who told Stevie tries hard. Simon told Helen in front and just gets home. Certainly makes it easy to get out of bed every morning when you know that you've got a terrific dog in the kennel that's going to be competitive in any race you put him in. And Simon told Helen the nose because he's got the Roman nose. Again, he's just the ultimate professional. He's got one mind. He just wants to race everything he does. You open the kennel door, he wants to go to the car to race. You pull up at the dog checkers or the vets, he's looking for the racetrack and the lure. And um, he just wants to chase and he wants to race. It'd be nice to top off a career with this dog to win a Melbourne Cup. It'd be super. This has been way beyond any expectations what we've had. You know, the pinnacle of it, hopefully, will be the Melbourne Cup, which will come up uh, on a very important date in later in November. So that date is actually Simon and Helen's wedding anniversary. It's our 38th wedding anniversary on the 27th of November, which will be the same night. It adds a little bit of uh, interest to the, uh, the ongoing story that we have with our greyhounds. If the dog wins the Melbourne Cup, and we have with the moon. And I think the rest of the fellas will be great too. It's taken a long time, 14, 15, 16 years, and now it's, I'm happy. <laughs>